Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Ida van der Um uh, Three years ago, I was diagnosed with uh, inflammatory arthritis, very similar to rheumatoid arthritis. And I have since been able to um, reverse that on a plant-based diet through uh, the Pedicine program. Now, for me, it all started in August 2014. Uh, one day I was out running and suddenly my left knee started feeling really funny. Um, over the next few months, uh, it started getting worse and worse. It get, got really um, swollen and painful. Um, and um, I just couldn't figure out what, what was wrong because um, it was so swollen that I couldn't actually walk down the stairs. I couldn't bend my knee enough to walk down the stairs. Um, I had to walk down with my left foot first for about a year, um, which makes it very popular in the underground at Victoria Station at rush hour, in case you've ever tried that. Um, I couldn't stand up for more than a couple of minutes because the leg, uh, the knee got more and more um, swollen then as well. Um, I saw doctors, I saw a homeopath and an osteopath and um, acupuncturists and physiotherapists and no one was able to tell me uh, what the problem was. Uh, after about six months, uh, I was referred to the rheumatology department at UCLH. Um, they ran their tests and uh, concluded that I had ANA positive oligoarthritis. Um, you might have thought my surname was uh, difficult to pronounce. Um, I was told that uh, no one knows why you get this, why you get this kind of arthritis. Uh, I was told that I would be on a um, on medication for the rest of my life. And um, because my husband and I were just getting married at the time, we, um, we were hoping to start a family sometime soon. Uh, they told me that I had two options for drugs that would be kind of deemed safe uh, on uh, while you're pregnant. And... Um, so in August 2015, which is a year after it all started, that's when I uh, started taking something called sulfasalazine. Um, it was pretty much the worst experience uh, to date for me. Um, it made me feel, I could really feel these chemicals going through my body. I had really weird, unnatural headaches. Um, within about two weeks, I ended up in the emergency room after a quite a severe allergic reaction to the medication. Um, and um, they obviously immediately took me off it. I then realized that I had pretty much one drug left to go for if I ever wanted to have a baby. Um, I then decided that, you know, this was absolute rubbish. Um, I knew that there was nothing wrong with me. Uh, I had always been really well. And um, I just, I didn't understand why this had kind of suddenly just, just happened to me. So I decided that I would start my own research um, and try to figure it out if I could reverse it naturally somehow. So uh, I was doing a lot of online research and um, every time that I read about someone who was getting better, it involved a change of diets. So I initially uh, took away dairy, uh, gluten, gluten and sugar. Um, I saw the rheumatologist two weeks after this and she just looked at me and said, you know, your results are, are back to normal, pretty much. Whatever you're doing, just keep doing it. Uh, I'm not going to prescribe you any more medication. And... Um, I remember as I was walking out of the hospital um, and I phoned my husband to tell him I was pretty much crying <laughs> out of happiness because this is just pretty much unheard of. Um, however, I knew that there was still, still some kind of um, some kind of inflammation going on in my body that I hadn't been able to attribute to a specific kind of food. And so I continued my research online um, and I had, I had also started doing a bit of yoga to kind of increase the mobility uh, in my knee at the time, which helped a lot. Um, so this is the time when I then suddenly came across uh, the Patterson program where Clint Patterson had um, established why we get uh, rheumatoid arthritis or arthritis similar types and how to reverse it naturally. And um, what Clint brought to life, the uh, I keep saying life, light, um, was that the severity of my own immune system attacking my joints was being aggravated by dietary fat, that's pretty much oils, um, and undigested proteins uh, in my diet. So I was able to jump onto the, uh, the Patterson program, I was able to um, resolve the remaining inflammation um, by uh, going through the food elimination process on the Patterson program. And that was followed by long periods of gut healing foods uh, and certain types of exercise. Um, now, I never thought that the worst thing that ever happened to me could possibly become the best, one of the best things that ever happened to me. 
Um, but I have always really enjoyed um, cooking ever since I was nine and cooked uh, spaghetti with tomato sauce for my whole family uh, every night, three weeks in a row, um, just to get it perfect. And um, so <laughs> basically, uh, when I realized that I needed to go plant-based, which I knew absolutely nothing about at the time, um, I then decided that I never wanted to feel like I was missing out on foods. So I started kind of um, testing and developing recipes that were still humble enough to keep the inflammation, uh, inflammation down, uh, but it still tasted delicious. And uh, my family and friends, and my family and friends, uh, they tried the foods and they really enjoyed them and they keep kind of asking me for recipe ideas. And I'm quite excited to say that in September, uh, my plant-based low oil cookbook is going to be, uh, going to be uh, published. And um, this works. Yeah, these are a couple of photos from, uh, uh, from Instagram where I go under a kitchen fairy tale. Um, and so she lived happily ever after kind of thing. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, so I, I have also um, I included in this cookbook uh, the most kind of humble recipes for those who are a little bit further along, mainly on the Patterson program, or people who are trying to keep inflammation low. They also have some more advanced recipes for those who just want to give plant-based cooking a go. Um, and I also included my story in the book because... I remember that when I started getting better through the Patterson program, through all these beautiful plant, plant foods, foods um, I promised myself that I would do whatever I can to make sure that when someone in the future walks into that rheumatologist office, they are given two options. And one of them is to take the prescribed medication, be on their merry way, or to try to reverse it naturally through the Patterson program with plants. <laughs> I think that having the knowledge what is actually happening in your body is so incredibly empowering. For me, it was so just crucial um, in the whole healing process. You know, you know you can do it. You know why you can do it. Um, and uh, for my husband and me, um, actually, the best part about it all is that I was able to um, have a drug-free, pain-free pregnancy. And eight months ago, I had our little baby boy. <laughs> um, and uh, I've been able to breastfeed uh, throughout. He is 100% breastfed and he's just started trying out solid foods and he has a, uh, he's loving all these glorious plants, um, especially asparagus and sweet potato. <laughs> um, and uh, I'm just incredibly uh, grateful for this. He's obviously uh, following his, in his mother's footsteps. So, thank you.